for season six of Beards. Damn, Beard, is this season podcast. six? Season six, dog. We've been doing this for a little while. Really? And of course, man, everybody loves Damn. BBW, this Beards. Bourbon and whiskey. Make sure you hit that hashtag and follow us on the gram. We got company today, dog. Got my man Q in the building. Got angry principal, of course, holding it down. What's up? My man Bo in the building. I say. Hey, Q, you can go ahead and put your face on there real quick if you want to, bro. Because your face. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hey, hey, hey. What what Mister gonna say? That's that nigga. Right. For sure, man. Of course, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live. From the 48205, man, we've been gone for a little while. We hit y'all with a couple of episodes last week because uh, we went down to the Taste of Black Spirits event. Dog. Shout out to my man Lazar. Shout out to Diddy. Uh, shout out to Young Village. Everybody who put that together, dog. Diddy. Dope experience, bro. Um, but we back. We back in the studio. We got a few things we about to go through here. Uh, the first one we going to start with, though, fresh, fresh off the boat. It's a smooth ambler. Now, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I've never heard of it, never tasted it, or never even seen it. So we're going to let Angry Principal tell us a little bit about it. So we know it's a West Virginia distillery. Okay. Uh, smooth ambler is named after the easy gate of ambler horses. Okay. This is a five-year aged bourbon, 61.3%. Shit. So you do the math times two. You're right. And this is a cash strength. Smooth ambler. And you put you some money on the ponies. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So they, uh, they're really proud of their um, Appalachian roots with Smooth Ammo. They, they uh, represent it big time on their website. Okay. So kind of looking forward to this one just because it's so strong. I'm looking forward to put some hair on my chest. <laughs> right. Because, <laughs> of course, if y'all haven't caught us through the other uh, five seasons, uh, he is definitely the proof hunter. He wants all shit a thousand percent. <laughs> I'm kind of straight on it. I don't need all that, but we're going to see what it's talking about. Uh, right. It's a, it's a cork in that one, right? Yes. All right. So go ahead. You go ahead and pop it so we can see what the cork sound like. Oh, shit. Okay, a little okay. something, a little something there. Hey, but uh, real quick before we get to the uh, to tasting it, uh, smooth horses, uh, something that we didn't have the experience with when we was in Georgia that last time. Uh, horses damn near, uh, damn near killed us. <laughs> <laughs> so them, them horses was not smooth. Oh man, that was hilarious. That's the story for another that's, time. Yeah, that's the story for another time. For sure. it, it was too much. Was I, it was too much. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking when I was there. Do yet. I'm trying. This dude over here, boy. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna taste this one, then I'm gonna get another glass when we do the other one. Cause I, yeah, I'm definitely not about to drink all that. I'm telling you what. <laughs> <laughs> we may only do one right? episode we today. Hey. Sip responsibly. See, this is high <laughs> shit. Let <right? laughs> me get you a little more. There you go. There, yeah, there you go, boy. Let me get you a little more. So, a little more. Minute, so it's like 122 proof. I'm going to put it right here. No one going to knock it over. Yeah. Go ahead. All right, so one, 122 proof. Uh, Open up the nostrils. Yeah. It does, but it, it's sweeter than I, it smells sweeter than I thought it was. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of honey. No. Wait, so what? You was in my head. Right there with the honey. With the honey. You right? No, no. You right there with the honey though. Let's see what it tastes. Honey, like dried fruit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like a citrus. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. You can tell it's a rock because it's got that spice. Mm. And the, the spice. Yeah. yeah. I haven't even tasted it yet. Immediate, like if, you, if I didn't know this was a rye, like you yes, know, this is a rye. As soon as that spice hit, yeah, definitely. Oh yeah. What you say, so, Q? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. It definitely, it definitely come back out your nose though. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But at first, at first I, I, I was feeling what y'all were saying about the citrus, mm -hmm. but now it, it kind of tastes like a, like a, like a candy sweet though, not like a fruit sweet. See, I don't That's think so. Is that honey? Coming? Is that the honey? I think yeah, yeah. I agree. I think it's, it's the honey. With the barrel trial, because mm. at five years, that's when you start to get that barrel tasting. Mm. So that's it's like the right age to taste a little bit of barrel, a lot of honey, a lot of spice. Definitely spice. At the end. Spice for so, sure. So, I mean, so yeah. the nose and on the taste. For sure. I don't half smell nothing but the honey off top. You said what? Half the tongue is numb. <laughs> <laughs> you know what though? You're right. <laughs> definitely the size of my tongue is, is love at this point, and I definitely realize I pour it too much. Oh yeah, this is good though. It's good though. That's good stuff. Yeah, it's good. So uh, overall, mm. I, I, I do. I, I will say this though. I, it doesn't taste as sweet as it smells. Right, right, so, right. Because right. if you smell it, it, it damn near. Uh, I'm a scared. I'm a scared dog when I say this. It damn near smell like Honey Jack. <laughs> like damn near. <laughs> but yeah, it, it definitely don't taste like it. Doesn't taste like it. Doesn't taste like it. No, no. You, you know. 
I get scared nowadays when you say well, Honey Jack, obviously, but then yeah. you got Crown Apple and Crown Fuchsia and then Crown whatever Crown else, Fuchsia. you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Wow. Crown Fuchsia. Yeah. So, like, yeah, this, this is crown nice. Crown Vanilla, though. This would kind of stand up to Elijah Craig Barrel. Mm. It'll stand mm. up to it. It's gotten mm. enough, enough taste in those ways. Because this is cat strength, right? It's cat strength. Yeah. If, if you can't get a hold of Elijah Craig, you do see smooth I, rambling, I would get, I would get it. I love Elijah Craig, but I the what, what was that we had the uh, Maker's Mark the forty six uh, what was it Private Select? Yeah. 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 yeah, that's that's fire. That's that's my favorite cast. That's so, came really? with lower proof. Did it? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it definitely wasn't one twenty two. Right. Yeah, it wasn't one twenty two. It might have been like one ten. I've I never really been a fan of the Makers forty six though. Like I wasn't at first. It feel like like I fucking love that shit. It feel like he went out for the night and left his balls at the crib. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. So again, to me, I mean, again, the 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 cash. Strength, but that's my opinion. The cash strength has some uh, some caramel notes, <laughs> a little bit of cocoa. You know, the sweetness that I desire. Okay. So, okay. So okay. That, that's why I like the finish. Yeah, you start okay. that chocolate. I can taste it just mm. the finish. Oh here? Yeah. Oh shit! I was talking about the other shit. Like a little cocoa. Yeah. 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 Wait for yeah. a second. I can taste it. There's a long finish on this. This does not fade away. Doesn't disappear. Shit, low key. It's, it's complex for sure. Yeah. Low key, you can almost smell the cocoa too. Yeah. though. Not because you said it, probably. I don't even know. <laughs> you know how that shit go though. Like I even smell that. You shit. You know what? You right. Yeah. But no, for real. Like, um, I think the principle is right, man. Like, on the finish, I definitely get some uh, cocoa notes there. Like, and, and you're right, as it settles, you know? Not mm -hmm. right away, you know? Not when I think it's going to hit, but, like, as I pick up the glass for another sip, you know, for oh, the pool, right. that's kind of when I notice it. It's yeah, lingering you know? like a motherfucker. It's, yeah. it's just sitting there on my throat, just like, hey, uh, pause. <laughs> <laughs> no, I definitely, yeah, yeah you're right, though. So this is like a, this is kind of like a, a slow sipper. And what I mean by that is like you kind of got to, you got to drink it and, and, and let it chill. For sure. You know what? We ain't spark no stogies, dog. Let's see, uh, you want to see what they do with that? Yeah. Oh, man. I haven't even grabbed nothing about the. This also. You got a whole box over here. Toss <laughs> one ice cube in. We'll probably How about you? Game of principle. If you want to just grab me one out of the, okay, there we yeah, go, sir. There we go, sir. There we go, sir. Um. I thought about that, and we probably could have bust down some, uh... A bust down? <laughs> so, what? Some ice or, like, some water. Oh, I think about the wrong thing. My bad, y'all. Right? My bad, y'all. Hey, I thought about it after I said it, though. Like, what? Bust oh, down. you got an emperor? Yeah. <laughs> so, can I fuck with your emperor's cut? That's love right there, boy. I gotta get me some. That's love right there. You let me fuck with the emperor's cut. Woo. Oh, yeah. It should be one up there. Yeah, there you go. See? They laughed at me when we went to uh, churches because I was the only one who had a blood lighter. <laughs> <laughs> that shit ain't working like that blood lighter is full effect, you feel me? I laughed at you, too. See? There you go. <laughs> Can you pass me that lighter right there? Oh, yeah, for sure. A real lighter? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Or a torch, really. If you want to keep it really real, a torch, not so, a lighter. Wow. Lighter sound like crackhead. So we know what you got. <laughs> you got the Emperor's Cut, dog. What you got, bro? I have a 685 Glen Casa. Never heard of it. I just like the torpedo look, so I grab it. Glen Casa. All right, I got a uh, LFD and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Q, you want to... Uh, I got a bunch of Cubans and shit right over there in that humidor, bro. Take a pick. All right, so what y'all thinking? Though? What y'all think is, what do y'all think gonna happen? I guess with the. Uh, I think it's gonna bring out these cocoa notes. Stay true, cause that like cocoa finish mm -hmm. hit the nose. And obviously, you know, I get that dry fruit, fruit, that honey, like Angry Principal said, whatnot. But. Hey man, I'm jealous. <laughs> I got cigar jealousy over here. <laughs> <laughs> that dog got a shit ton over there. I like, just had him one out of there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I put it right here. I'm sorry. Uh, All right, let's put it in front of it. Where did I put it at? Damn, I just had it. What was it? The cutter. Oh. Oh, well, there we go. But yeah, yeah I, think, I, think, I, think, I think with that cocoa friend that finished. No, I got short arms again. <laughs> <laughs> we got to hand this shit off. <laughs> I can't go straight across with that shit. 
I think the cigar's gonna bring that out. <coughs> Alright, let's see what we got now. The torch, yeah. Lighter. Got this little crackhead purple lighter right here. Mm -hmm. Right there, he's. I don't know. At least with the LFD, I don't know. It don't look, let me see. I almost feel like I don't know if it's because of the robustness of this uh, cigar, but I think it's, it's overpowering the finish. I don't like it. See, so I don't think so. I like it. I, th I think it brings. I think yeah. it this Emperor's cut. I think it brings perfect balance to that to that cocoa finish. Yeah, and like, oh, I know, right? I enjoy that shit. Like, I, I think it just really just mellows it out for me. You know what I mean? Yeah, it took a lot of edge off of me. That's what I'm saying. I think it's overpowering. It took, it took I'm saying, but I don't think that's overpowering, though. Know. I think that's just perfect. I think that's just how it goes it's together. The cigar it did, though, it mel mellowed out. The right, yeah. That See, this, this is the thing, I guess. I'm not a. I'm not really a rye guy, so I don't really like the spice. You're not a rye guy? Yeah, I'm not a rye guy. <laughs> so I don't really like the spice at the end anyway. But then since I got it, the spice in this motherfucker was good, and now I feel like the cigar is overpowering that shit. And it's just, it ain't the same for me. Huh? I With this one... I would rather sip it by itself. I would probably smoke afterwards. I'll probably just sip this by itself. For me, like my taste, like we, especially we have like a long, kind of a lingering. Well, 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 no, what's the word? I'm like, yeah, not lingering, but like more of a savory finish, I guess, gotcha, right? Uh -huh. Like a cocoa or something like that. Mm -hmm. I think that's where your cigar goes perfect with it, because I think it just takes time for those complexities to kind of mellow out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that, for me, I I enjoy that. I like that, right? Yeah. I don't know. What'd you say? I think this is a really, really good one. It holds up. Like I said, if you can't find Elijah Craig and you see Smooth Ambler, Cash Ring, I think just, that's a good substitute for it. I'm impressed. I've this never had it. This shit lasts a long time, dog. I should not still be tasting this shit. <laughs> I like that, man. Like, this is a I'm great impressed. Line, man. Whoever uh, recommended this one, Shout out to Jeremy at Total Wine and More out in Ann Arbor on what road is that shit? On one of them, one of them one roads out there, motherfuckers. Road. Uh, yeah, and I'm a Sling Road or some shit like that. Yeah. Jeremy, <laughs> shout out. He told me he was like, "Hey man," he's like, "Oh, you, you gonna like this one?" He told me too. Yeah. He was like, "You gonna like this one?" I was like, "All right, that's what's up." Yeah, that, he, he did, did yeah. recommend it. Yeah. yeah. So Q, what you what you think? Because this is a pretty high proof. You know what I'm saying? This is some high proof shit. That's some high proof shit. Hell yeah. I'm more of a smoker <laughs> myself. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So like, what? I would drink that by itself, though. I would definitely See, not, man, not, not mix this with anything else. I would drink it by itself yeah. and sip it slow. Yeah. And just sip. Yeah, because yeah. you got to, it's, it's impressive, I guess. Yeah, Maybe it's just y'all young slippers in. Maybe that's what it is. It could be that. Y'all young slippers. It could be. <laughs> everybody that know me, everybody that watch this show knows that I have a softer palate. Okay, so it's I, true. I don't, I don't even really mean the palate. I, I guess what I'm saying is like, I've been on the bourbon a little bit since halfway through the military. So it's about 10 years now, right? Yeah. Like, well, I definitely in ten years. Yeah, ago. you know what I mean. So that's yeah. what I mean by by, by you know you. younger palate. That's all. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely you know sipping. Yeah. You know <laughs> Still ain't Hennessy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, yo, yeah, first of all, hey, hey, shout out to my homeboy Doug. <laughs> Ball ticket to this raffle, run a one whole freaking basket of liquor and shit like. Oh yeah. For and sure. it's like some high class liquor. Like it's some good shit. It's a good ass prize. I ain't gonna lie. Except though. for this. Like, I don't fuck with tequila, and I really don't drink motherfucking cognac, and that's all that's in that motherfucker, but it's some high-class shit, for real, so shout out to my homeboy, Dub, for, for real. real. Shout out to Dub. Hey, yeah. I don't really, I don't fuck with a lot of cognac no more, but I do think that that's that Martell Blue in there. Yeah. That shit is all right. I ain't yeah. gonna hold you. The Martell Blue is all right. I fuck with that. If if I'm gonna have some yak and shit, like, I'm a, I'll probably drink that, and obviously Privilege, Hennessy Privilege, I'll still drink, you know, here and there. Definitely ain't nothing like I'm about to just go to the store and get those. Like if no. niggas say we want some cognac, I'm gonna suggest. You know what I'm saying? But like niggas just come. Go get some wood for bro. No, you know niggas come through with the <laughs> niggas come through with the hitty and shit. I'm gonna drink water. And niggas know I don't even drink that you know, water. So. Yeah. Go get some trace. Come on. <laughs> wood for trace. No, for roses. 
Come on now. All right, so Q, this is how we do it. Uh, you, uh, you new to this, uh, this whole this whole situation. So what we do is, uh, once you uh, have a sip of it and see how you like it or how you don't like it, uh, you go rate it by giving it, uh, you know, black power fist. So on a level of one to five, black power fist, uh, what would you give this joint right here? Smooth level One to five? Yeah, one five to five. being the highest? For sure. Give it a four. Damn. What? Yeah, cause it, just because it lingered, it was a sip. Yeah. Like you can pour this and sit it's there by praise, yourself. My yeah, God. I mean you sitting there. See, I can pour this. I can sip. I can chill for a minute. Post up. Yeah. Sip again. Post up yeah. again. Post you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do it. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, going towards four, like three point seven five. It yeah, yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Like I said, it, it would match up against some of your other more popular uh, cash strips. Mm -hmm. And Elijah Craig is Elijah sounds Craig. like it's your go-to cash strip. Yeah. If you if you got a name of cash strip that everybody like agrees that's really really good, it would be Elijah Craig. Now I forgot what it's was it. That was like a goofy ass number. It was like one twenty six or something. Yeah. yeah. One thirty two was one of the other ones. That's too motherfucking yeah. much. <laughs> <laughs> that's too much. There's some others out there, but this is really, really good. So if you see it, if it's in your area, I would grab it. Got you. Even that, as far as the, the flavor, too? I love the flavor. Yeah. Especially how much it lingers and that yeah. honey at the front end, spice mm -hmm. in the middle, chocolate at the end. Yeah. That's good. That's a complex yeah. version mm -hmm. that changes flavors three times in right. your mouth. That's pretty good. Exactly. Man. For sure. Bo, what you think, though? I shit? can't really add too much to that, man. Yeah. Um, you going, you going that high though? I'm, I'm going 3.5 and trending upwards, man, for real. You know, um, and, and I, I'm only it's a 3.5 and not a four because I've never really been a big fan of rides. You know what I mean? Right. And that's a, that's the only right guy. yeah. I'm just not a ride guy. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Exactly. So that's the only thing that's kind of hold me back. Maybe it's, 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 it's like a you know maybe a, a mental thing, mental block or something like that. But uh. Definitely 3.5 and trending upwards, and especially you know like I, I, I know you said you kind of like it by itself. I like it with the cigar, yeah. and uh, shout out to Emperor's Cut, black owned cigar brand right here, Emperor's Cut. For sure. You know what I mean? And, and I think it just mellows it out just enough for me. So I'm gonna put it right in that three point three point three and a half black power uh, uh, black power fist for sure. All right, for sure three and a half. Mm -hmm. Uh, hmm. so let's see here. I like it. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. I do like the shit. Um. For me, though, like, it's the ride thing. I think the spice thing I'm not really a, a fan of. Uh, it's a very intricate sip, though. Like, there's a lot of shit going on. It lingers a lot. So, like, for the... Like for the quality of it, for sure. Like you can get a you can get a hard four for that shit. But like for me, how much I like it, I'm gonna get a good three. Sure. All right. For sure. So for me, like the the strength is there. Like the taste of it is decent. You know what I'm saying? But the strength of it is cold blooded. Like you you can feel the you can feel it coming out your nostrils. <laughs> so like if you want to hit, it's gonna hit your ass. Like it's, it's gonna be that. Yeah, definitely. But for me, like the the honey is. Like so, so I, I said I have a softer palate, so I do like sweeter things. The honey is not necessarily one of those profiles that I like. I'm more of a cocoa and uh, and uh, caramel kind of, uh, you know, that kind of palate. Not so, fruits. So yeah, not fruits, right? So if it, if it had not been. <laughs> 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 so anyway, dog, we got that three three bright power fish. Dog. I ain't fucking with y'all, dog. You know what I'm talking about? But um, again, is a is a is a great is a great buy. So like I said, if you're in the, uh where'd you get it from? Total Wines. Total Wines. Total Wines. Yeah. So if you want to check that out, definitely um, we are for it. I'm definitely not against it. It's only been one thing that I've been completely against since we started this, and I'm sorry, E40, but Kuiper Belt was fucking trash. That's the only one that you I've actually what? hated. Hey, uh oh, so uh oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. Oh, a caribou, yes, that shit was terrible. So Kuiper Belt, I'm I'm gonna agree. Like I, I was not a fan of it, right? Mm -hmm. But we did that we did that show here. And so that bottle stayed here and I finished that bottle. And it turned out to be something different. It turned out I mean, it didn't make me a fan, but I became you less okay critical with it. of it. How about that? Is it because it breathed for a minute and shit or? I mean, you know, once the bourbon, uh, once it ages, it ages. You know what I mean? It was. Once you take it out the out the barrel, it's done aging. But yeah. you know, 
I, I don't know. I don't maybe, know. maybe maybe it was the fact that it was just here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was maybe convenience. You know, I don't know. Here, so, right. But I liked it. I liked it the second. When, you know, revisiting it. You know, the second time through. Then that yeah, first time we had it. So, right. I don't know. I maybe guess. Time we come back to it at a later point. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I'll rather i rather do uh, some of his wine and shit. I do I do that instead. All right, so we go. Yeah, that's not that good. What? Oh, come on now. Some of that shit is good. No. Some of that shit is good. It's 20% alcohol and wine, nigga. Yeah. It sounds like a show, a show uh, it's like topical. It's like a show topic. It's huh? like a show topic. It sounds like right. Wild Irish Rose. <laughs> 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 it's Mad Dog Twitch. It's Mad Dog Twitch. Cisco, nigga. Motherfucker, uh, what's that shit? Light train. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, like that. Nah, let's just get a hit right now. So, <laughs> so again, I told y'all we had we had a few things. All right, so that's a smooth ambler. All right, so we're gonna move to the second one. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one in the middle. Next, we we'll slide.